Evolutionary theory is so widely accepted by the scientific community that one could wonder if there is even an alternative possible. Let's see. An alternative to life evolved into existence would be life did not evolve into existence. But there's a problem with that alternative. Take a look at this diagram. The way science works is that we start with pieces of evidence. We combine that to form an interpretation and this interpretation has some underlying assumptions. And science accepts the interpretation that requires the least and smallest assumptions possible. Based on these interpretations, conclusions can be drawn. Then new evidence is found, which leads to new interpretations and new conclusions. Once the new conclusions match the initial tiny assumptions, there is more confidence for this and it is starting to become a scientifically established fact. The alternative a life did not evolve yields life was created or life was intelligently designed. But what causes the problem with those alternatives is that it has a religious basis. That is the source of the problem. The symptom is that it is not an assumption but a presupposition. That is a conclusion that is drawn before the scientific research even begins. This results into a bias and this is what the diagram looks like in this case. Uh, it is actually pretty much the same diagram. But what happens when new evidence is presented to this presupposition? Evidence that contradicts the conclusion. Then the evidence is seen as an anomaly. Instead, the whole system should be considered circular reasoning and only the evidence is supposed to be considered true. So, let's list some more problems with this. Creation and intelligent design, if it would have happened, was a unique event. It is unfalsifiable, unobservable and unrepeatable. And the worst of all, since it involves supernatural miracles, it violates known physical laws. And that makes it horrible pseudoscience. So because it is unscientific, we eliminate that option and start to do real science like this. Now of course, the theory of evolution shouldn't cause contradictions of this caliber. Let's find out. How about we assume a nothing Let's just dive into all the evidence that supports evolutionary theory and show why the theory is so successful.